hello everybody here in this video this will be a series of videos and in this series we will learn about time series what exactly the time series analysis is right so whenever what exactly time series analysis is so in this in short i can say in this using the date time variable we try to predict the dependent variables dependent variable could be anything like amount of sales price of stock or anything so usually what happens is in this data uh, in this for the time series analysis what we actually get is two kind of variables one is independent which generally the date time column is this here in our case this is the one now there will be one dependent variable in our case that variable is passengers this data is about air passengers okay where you have the information for number of passengers for a specific airline month on month growing or decreasing okay now uh, using this data in this exercise we will use the same data and we will try to predict the number of passengers on a certain point of time so this is this is it in a nutshell this is what exactly we learn or this is exactly what for which we use the time series okay what are the other examples if uh, other applications for time series if you ask me then we can say that we can use this for sales forecasting we can use this to predict the temperature weather or whatever it is okay we can use this to you know predict the price of our favorite uh, stalker and so on right these are the images which i have taken from google all right so these are the these are some of the applications or uses of time series analysis in this series of video we are going we will be understanding what exactly the time series analysis is what are the models that we can build um, on time series analysis in time series analysis and many more let me take you to the jupyter notebook and try to help you understand with practical examples so here before we start uh, this these are the prerequisites which i have already imported i expect that you or i expect or i believe that you are already familiar with all these libraries okay if not let me know in the comment section i'll help you with uh, each of these libraries and or if you want you can find the videos tutorials for each of these libraries which are available on this channel okay now moving forward let's have try to have a look on the data how to get the data in seaborn library seaborn library also provide list of data sets okay so how can we see what are the lists lists of data sets for that what you can do is you can say set sorry sns dot get data set names and call this okay so this is what you get this all are the data sets which are available into this seaborn okay now we we will be taking this flights data this is the air passenger data which i was showing you in the very first now let's just try to import this how would you import this for that you're gonna say hey, don't worry you don't have to use pandas because you are not going to import that from excel it is already available in seaborn we just need to load that so here we're gonna say sns dot load data frame sorry data set and in that you just put the data frame name and let's just see we will put it in a data frame and let's try to see a sample of this data frame okay like you can see this is how our data set looks like here we have year column month column and passenger column so we need to convert it into one complete date but the problem is here we have only year and month so we require a day part also so here what we will do is we will take one common date for example we will take first day of each of the month because last day for each of the month will be different so we here we will take first day of each of the month and we will try to combine them all together all these three together and uh, then we will have one date column so let me give a name to that let me create a variable called year month and into that i'm going to concatenate or combine all these three things so first thing which i need is day part dash plus here I, I want to use year column but the problem over here is this is integer variable okay so we need to convert that into string and then concatenate how can we do that so for that simple you just need to put the variable name and then just say as type into that you can just call you can just say str okay this is it then after that you need to put a dash 
I will be putting a dash then uh, the next thing I will again repeat this same thing for month column now you might have a question that month column looks like you know text but this is not true that's the categorical variable okay that we also need to convert it into the string and then we need to <coughs> sorry use that now if you see this is what we get now like you can see over here okay let me do it differently and over here i will call it year now this looks <coughs> much better all right so this is how um, but, but the problem over here is this particular column which we have just created is not the date time column okay it's not the date variable so in that in that scenario we might have trouble we might struggle handling or uh, handling this variable or doing the analysis so what i'll do is i'll just use one function let me call that you know pd dot to date time and let me just put all these things inside that now we have this in date time format and if you want to have a view on the sample data this is how this looks like okay now what i need to do is i'll be converting this particular column into index okay i'll make it index so that it will be easy for us to handle this okay if you want you can continue uh in the same way but here for the convenience i am just doing this df.set index and you just supply the column which you want to use as index now let's just see this is how our data looks like let me just call it df.head oops here you need to say in place equals to true in place equals to true all right now here you see we got this data now let's try to plot this data on a line chart okay how can we do that let's say sns dot line plot i've created a separate series for on seaborn and on mat plot also so if if you're someone who is new to visualization in python i highly recommend you to check that out okay so sns dot line plot and here in the data frame okay uh in data argument or parameter i'll just supply the data frame name and then on x-axis i want to use df dot index okay df dot index i will use this particular column okay see how simple it is now what next on y column i will be using df dot passengers all right now let's just plot this so you see this kind of graph we are getting when you observe this particular graph what we see is it shows us a trend uh, why it is called trend because if you um, i mean there is one word which you got okay which is trend what does that exactly mean other than trend you also see up down up down up down by a specific time that is that's something which we call as you know seasonality we can say seasonality right what all these key terms are these are nothing but the patterns so in time series in time series usually whatever patterns that we get usually those are classified in four categories okay what are those four categories let me take you over here and try to help you understand so those four categories are trend which we just saw then seasonal this was also combined with the trend then cyclic and then ir irregularities okay let's try to understand one by one trend it's something in the data when you plot the data you will see either the dependent variable is growing or it is decreasing by the time so you see over here this uh, this variable is growing it's it's increasing by the time in accordance with as you grow by the x-axis it is growing upward here it is downward okay by x-axis as uh, as the time grows this particular dependent variable is decreasing okay so this is kind of trained pattern we also called it component of time series analysis okay this is the trend one next comes the seasonal one for example have a look on this particular chart what you observe is this before i explain you let me tell you this is let's consider this is a completely hypothetical data for ice cream sales so if you observe over here the sales of ice cream starts to increase 
by the beginning or before beginning of april month and it keeps on growing and then it starts falling near to october and then it keeps comes uh you know on the lower label till again at the beginning of april then again it is coming down um it goes up and then comes down at the start of october and so on right so what you observe is from april till october beginning of up from starting from beginning of the april till starting of october this is growing okay this is growing so what you see is by the time if you see there is a fixed pattern so in india usually we have summer season during this time so what we observe is during the summer the sales of ice cream is increasing and you see summer is season so the, during this time this time frame the sales is increasing so whenever dependent variable either increase or goes down if for a specific time period right and that repeats and that gets repeated on a fixed frequency that's where we call it seasonality so every year in the month of april to october the sales of ice cream is increasing and then it's falling that's why we call it seasonal i hope that it is clear to you next comes cyclic cyclic is something which starts and then continued for some time keeps continue for some time and then it goes away and then there is no fixed time when it will come again right it could be positive or it could be negative also in terms of negative if you take example of recession covid so what happens is you get this kind of trend right this kind of trend for example if you take a recession so there there have been multiple time when recession came right so it will come and then it will remain for some time and then it will go away then everything will remain smooth then again at certain point uh, i i hope that it never comes but it, it may come right again then that will go and it will remain for some time and then uh, again the things will come up right same thing happened in the covid also so those kind of things called cyclic usually this happens you know in case of depression recession and all those things okay then comes irregularities so in case of irregularities you don't find any kind of pattern into it right you don't you don't see any pattern in the data we we also call it noise in the data and we try to avoid this in this in, in this case it becomes really difficult to you know do the analysis so this is all we learned in this particular video we will continue we will see next in the um, what comes next in the upcoming videos we will try to understand what stationarity is and all those things see you in the next